The A to Z of wine is a series that takes a look at grapes from Assyrtiko to Zinfandel. Uh, today we've reached E and E is for absolutely nothing because I couldn't find anything where I live that began with E. So instead, today we're going to look at F where I had a lot more choice and specifically I picked out Fiano. Hello and welcome to the Grape Explorer where we celebrate the world of wine. On this channel we do wine education, product reviews and lots of tastings. So if you're interested in wine, consider subscribing. So like I say, today we're going to look at Fiano, which is a white Italian grape um, predominantly found in the Campania region of Italy and also found in Sicily as well. Although it is starting to be grown in, in other countries around the world, so somewhere like Australia in the McLaren Vale is somewhere you might start to find Fiano as well. Additionally, some winemakers in Argentina, uh, sort of just north of the Mendoza region, are starting to use this particular grape too. Uh, wine historians would consider Fiano to be a classical vine, and by that I mean it was a vine that was popularly grown during the Roman times, and there's even some evidence to suggest that the grape was grown by the ancient Greeks as well. Fiano uh, is considered something of an age-worthy wine in that the wines that are produced uh, do have the uh, possibility to age over a number of years. And those aged wines are going to develop kind of spicy, nutty aromas where a younger Fiano is a little bit more floral, perhaps some honey as well. So what I've done is I've gone out and bought myself a Fiano for us to try today. Now, this particular wine is the uh, Mandrarossa Fiano uh, from Sicilia, uh, Sicily. And it's from the 2016 vintage, uh, where it is grown on distinctive chalky white stone soils, uh, which are gonna give the wine an incredible minerality and freshness. So looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, I've poured a little bit out already, just to be able to give it uh, some, some room to breathe. So. We're going to go through a tasting profile on this one. Uh, starting off with the colour, this is a pale lemon in colour. Aroma intensity is good, it's actually uh, kind of medium plus on the intensity. Okay, on the nose, it's interesting this one, I don't know if it's had any lees ageing at all, but I'm getting kind of some, some yeasty aromas on this particular one. And then from a fruit perspective, I'm getting things like a pear and apple, but it is kind of floral. It's almost kind of um, herby, actually. I, I get the smell of like a, like a basil to it, something herby about this particular wine. So really nice uh, set of aromas, um, quite diverse uh, in their complexity. So let's say the aroma complexity is probably a medium plus as well. Um, and, and lots of different things coming through. Okay, we'll give it a bit of a taste then. Mm. Wine is dry. The acidity on the wine is medium plus. It's very good. Uh, flavor characteristics coming through are very much on the citrus fruit side of things. So I got a real feeling for grapefruit there. Um, as I was drinking that one. Uh, and I think that talks to the acidity of the wine. Um, grapefruit, obviously quite an acidic fruit. But there is a honey-like quality on the taste as well, which is really enjoyable. Um, this is particularly fresh. Uh, it's gonna pair really well with, with things like seafood, as you would expect, um, or lighter white meats. Um, it is particularly fresh, particularly youthful, I think, this one. Yes, 2016, you know, I would be interested to buy a bottle of this and let it age for a few years to see if it does develop some of those nuttier aromas. So let's talk about some of the other qualities on this one as well. Alcohol for me, um, alcohol for me is medium. I think it's medium, um, it's got a medium minus body to this one. It's got a nice length, medium plus finish on the length. And I think the um, intensity of the, the taste is very balanced in line with the intensity of the aromas. So overall, if we're talking about balance, I think in terms of balance, it's, it's, it's really well balanced. 
Lovely aromas coming through. Do you know what? That basil, I think, is really starting to come through now. It's really herby. Uh, from a length, it's got a nice length to it, a nice long finish to it. Um, I would say that the aromas are reasonably intense and they're reasonably complex as well. Like I say, I detected a little bit of e leaves aging with this one. And I think coupled with the fruit, some of the honey aromas as well, you're starting to get some primary, some secondary aromas. Clearly you could revisit this one in a few years time and, and start to have some of those tertiary aromas as well. So I do think it's got a, a nice complexity. The fact that I paid less than £10 for this, I believe it was £9.99, uh, is, is excellent value. And so overall, I would say that this wine is outstanding value for money. Overall, really enjoyable though, like I say. So over to you, Fiano, uh, what do you think? Have you had it? Is it something you've tried? Is it something you might like to try? Or any other grapes beginning with F? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm the Grape Explorer. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.